All right, today we are upgrading our Taiwan Beauty Rat Snake Yofi into a larger enclosure. She's been badly in need of one. I actually don't want to show you the one that she's in currently because it's embarrassingly small. Um, but I just want to take you a quick tour of what I put together for her. Uh, Taiwan Beauty Rat Snakes are semi-arboreal, so I wanted to make sure she had plenty of climbing space. Uh, her water bowl down here. I set up this sort of rack uh, as a kind of possible hide or hiding place on the ground if she wants one. Obviously got a lot of sticks, got a lot of foliage, uh, so she can hang around in here without having to feel too nervous. Packed it in pretty good. I made a, uh, she's got a heat bulb up there to give her a nice basking spot, and I hung this hammock back here. I don't know if she'll want to use that to bask, but it might, might work for her. Um, or she can, you know, do whatever she wants. But I'm hoping that she will enjoy this. I tried to make it comfortable for her. So we'll put her in a minute and see what she thinks. Forgot to mention, uh, the substrate that we use is um, cypress bark, uh, cypress mulch. Um, we get the forest floor brand from Zoomed at our local pet shop. I like this for snakes. I find it holds decent humidity without being uh, wet, and um, it's pretty easy to pick poops out of, which is nice. Uh, I also want to show I went ahead and hung some extra foliage down for this thing, because it really was pretty open under there. Um, so I think she'll be more likely to use it with uh, some fronds hanging down, giving her more of a feeling of security. Uh, so that's just a couple more things. Um, her basking light's up there. That may change if it doesn't seem to be suitably heating the enclosure, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna get her out of her old place and put her in the new one. All right, here's the girl, Miss Yofi. Like I said, she's our Taiwan Beauty Rat Snake. She, ooh, easy sweetheart. I know, she's cranky because I took her out of a hide that she liked. It was very, very small um, and she felt secure in it and it's not following her to her new home because it's hard to get her out of it and I don't like to have snakes and hides that you have to force them out of. Uh, in case you need to get them out of the enclosure quickly for some reason. Um, like earlier this year, we had a fire actually in our condo complex and had to evacuate all the reptiles really quickly because it was in potential danger of spreading to our unit. Um, and I was able, thankfully then, to get her out quickly. Uh, but if I hadn't been able to, we might have had to leave her behind and it could have been really bad. Um, anyway, here she is. She just hit four feet long, which we think is awesome. Uh, she was born September of last year, so she's just a little over a year old at this point. It's uh, the end of October. Um, and uh, here she goes. My kid. Oh, I know. Whoop. What do you think? tail on her is great. She has a very long, very narrow tail that uh, she uses. You can see it when you have her out and she's actively holding on to something. She uses it to anchor herself while she's exploring in the trees. A lot of cool adaptations for that semi-arboreal lifestyle with her. All right, so of course she's nervous. Uh, you know, any reptile's gonna be nervous when you first put it into a new enclosure. So right now she's just trying to get away as far away from me as she can. So we're just gonna close this up and let her uh, turn off the lights and let her explore and settle in. Here you go, Yof. Hope you like it. So when I took the first part of this video, I had this lamp, uh, hood, and heat bulb on top of Yofi's rebuilt tank. Um, it's very important. Uh, especially when you're putting a new tank arrangement together for the first time to keep an eye on it in the beginning um, and by that I mean check temperatures and stuff um, it did not take me long to realize that this lamp and bulb was not cutting it um, the bulb for one thing is I thought it was a higher wattage than it was so I needed a blue bulb, new bulb um, I might have been able to keep this lamp hood but I didn't want to risk um, putting too powerful of a bulb in it since it's going into winter, I wanted to exchange that, which is I think a 50 watt, for a 150 watt heat bulb to make sure that uh, her temperatures are appropriate. Um, Taiwan beauty snakes need a hot spot of 88 degrees, uh, low to mid 70s for ambient. Uh, it can drop at night, but during the day you definitely want it warm enough for them. 
and I was not getting that with that right there. So I rearranged a few things in her tank. That's uh, Yig's tank there. He appears to have knocked over his crocodile. Um, the biggest one being that I hung this for the heat. I have that for the bulb. Um, and you may see that the back has changed. Um, Yofi's still a pretty nervous snake, so I wanted to put some kind of background on her tank. Um, they sell all kinds of backgrounds that you can get for reptile tanks, like Timmy here has, this is a real old one, but you can see in the back he's got a jungle, like a polyfilm kind of jungle background. Um, or they've got uh, cling ones that you can buy, which this is Yofi's old tank. And you can see I put a cling one around all three sides, so it's, you know, uh, on the outside of the tank. Um, and that was for when she was real little and real nervous. But, but uh, I'm having trouble finding those in big enough sizes for this, and I didn't feel like spending the money, so instead I bought a um, roll of bulletin board background paper at a craft store, which my fiancé actually found, so kudos to her, came in a lot of different patterns. Um, I liked the wood one because I'll be able to use this for a couple other tank builds I have going on in the background. Uh, and then I actually glued that to a piece of foam core and attached that to the back as a panel so it'll keep some heat in. Um, the other thing I think I mentioned earlier, uh, so I'm going to mention again, Taiwan's beauty snakes are partially arboreal, so they appreciate having a lot of climbing space. Um, Yofi also likes having an elevated height. So what I did for her is... I didn't want to reuse the rock hide that I had before, because as I mentioned, it was really hard getting her out of that. It wasn't fun for anybody. Um, so I bought this. This is not meant to hang uh, vertically, so it doesn't have like a hanger or anything. What I did, let's see if I can get this out with one hand, um, was I, I put a Pangea, an extra Pangea sunken cup ledge back there. And it just hangs on that. And as you can see, a lot easier to get her out of that than trying to wrangle her out a very small hole. So she's been liking it quite a bit. It heats up because it's dark, gets warm, hangs real easy. I just kind of hook it on there. It's been secure so far. I'll have to keep an eye on it, of course. Um, and everything temps up to more appropriate temperatures, which is great if you do not have an IR thermometer to temp your cage, I strongly recommend getting one. So you can see it's 90 degrees on the outside surface of her hide. Right uh, right here kind of on this wood, it's about 85. Down on the floor of the cage right now, about 80. So it's a little warm in here, we're having a, kind of a heat, uh, heat wave before the arctic blast comes in tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's a much better temperature now, and even when it gets colder, uh, this room does unfortunately get kind of cold in the winter, um, she's still going to be suitably warm. Uh, so anyway, I still kind of have this hiding, hiding this back here so she can come in and out and feel safe. So there are just some other adjustments I made to make her tank a better habitat for her. Um, and she just finished shedding. I posted some pictures of that on my Instagram. Uh, so she's doing pretty good in there so far. Feeling good about it. Uh, thank you for watching. And um, if you have any questions, let me know.